Well, hey folks, welcome back to the channel where it's all about racing. With Ferrari having won the Italian Grand Prix at Monza today, I thought it would be appropriate to bring out my entire Ferrari collection. That's everything I have Ferrari, which you can see is mostly GT sports cars. I do have a couple Barago uh, Formula One cars. Um, I also have a Barago in the right-hand corner, a GT3 car, one of the very few that I keep in my collection because it's really quite a good Barago. And then you see a bunch of 164 scale, 458 and 488 Ferraris. In fact, that is just about everything that you see here. So that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get started. We'll do a quick scan, then we'll go over them. In the far left-hand corner in the green is the F430 GTC 2011, that of Crone Racing. That is a Fujimi, by the way. The car next to it is also another Fujimi, also an F430 GTC. That of CMS Racing. And yet another 430. That of JMB Racing. Then we get into the 458s. And here you have a Look Smart 458 GT2. That of Luxury Racing. That's actually one of the very first cars I ever bought, believe it or not. Then we get into the three Iron Lynxes. This is the uh, 48 GT3, another Look Smart. The Black Iron Lynx. I call it, or I guess you could call it the white. This is the yellow Iron Lynx. Then we have the Iron Dames here. Really cool car. And then the Sky Tempesta. I just love that Ferrari. I think that uh, that logo is just abs, or the livery is just amazing. Then as we roll over here, this is going to be the um, WeatherTech Racing. Uh, again, that's a 488. Then this one is the. Um, Oh, gosh, what is, the, what is the name of this one? AF Corsa. Um, I believe this is also, the livery has that to do with Brittany. We'll cover that in more detail, and I, I do actually in my video that I have on. This is the Kettlar Racing Ferrari in blue. Then finally, the Bragos of the 488s uh, I have, the number 62. And then we get into some of the 64 scales. You've got the Red Bull, uh, I believe that is a 458. You've got the number 46 car from Kessel Racing. Then you have the DHL Racing. And this is, again, the Iron Dames in one of their more bizarre liveries. SMP Racing, everybody knows this one. And you've got the two Momo cars there. And then the two Barago which I just reviewed recently, um, the Ferrari F1 cars. Now, this Red Bull 458 Ferrari that you see here, or the 458, is an IXO Tarmac Works collaborative collection. I believe uh, IXO had the Ferrari licensing, so Tarmac Works, who is their partner in 164 scale, was able to uh, capitalize on that. It looks really cool in black with the familiar Red Bull logo that everybody knows so well. Then we have the number 46, and I believe this is also um, a Ferrari 458. I think it looks splendid in the black with the yellow and blue accents. Now the DHL number 52 that you see here is also a 458 Ferrari. Really, really cool. This is also one of the uh, Tarmax Works IXO collaborations. In fact, I believe all these Ferraris are. They're the only ones that currently have licensing in 164 scale. This is the Iron Dames when they were with Kessel Racing. Uh, they had this unique blue, pink, and black livery. Uh, to be honest with you, it's a really nice looking car, but the livery is not really accurate to what the car really looked like. Um, it, it's a little bit off, but it's appealing to the eye, so it works for me. Again, this is an IXO Tarmax Work collaboration. And here is the SMP Racing 51 uh, Ferrari that everybody who follows Ferrari knows. Splendidly sharp, I think, the red with the uh, the the red and w red, white, and green Italian livery. I particularly love the way that it starts really wide on the nose, and then the, the stripes go on to the back. Really cool, good-looking car. This is a 488 Ferrari, by the way. And now we have the number 30. This is a Ferrari 458, also an IXO. Tarmac Works collaboration, you can always tell by the aerials, they're about the only ones that have them in 164 scale. 
nobody else does. And the, the IXO, I guess maybe about eight or nine months ago, they came out with a whole slew of these they released. There's a couple I don't have because I re really don't collect 164 that much anymore, and they were, they were godly expensive, so I decided not to go for them. But anyhow, that is the Momo. Then here we have another Momo, or Caltex, I guess you might call this one. The number 88 car. This is also a Ferrari 488. I think looks really, really sharp. Now I'll do these two together because they are Barago um, F1 Ferraris. The number 55 and the 16 car. And I want to tell you, Barago has really stepped up their game uh, in models. In 143 scale sports cars, I only have one Barago, and you're going to see it in just a moment. However, you know, these two I thought were really, really good representations um, made by Barago. You know, your only other option if you want a Ferrari is look smart, and they are ungodly expensive. Believe me, because I have about six more of them back there in 143 scale sports cars. But anyhow, these are the two Baragos. Now we get to the only Barago that I have in sports cars, and this is the Risi Competition, number 62, Ferrari 488 GTE. These were the ones that were really decked out for them all. And, and I want to tell you guys, this is part of the Ferrari um, collection that Barago does in sports cars. They have about eight or nine of these that they have released. Um, they're, they're good cars for the money. I mean, I think I paid 25 bucks for this. It comes on this plastic base, nice aluminum tag on there. And it, for a Barago, this is a really well detailed car. I mean, far better than their F1 car is. Uh, so if you get a chance to pick this one up uh, on eBay or elsewhere, I would highly recommend doing it. And now we're getting into the LookSmart Ferrari 488s. This is the Kettlar car, number 47. Absolutely gorgeously well done, you know, with that typical, you know, Ferrari, as you saw uh, in the 164 scale with the, uh, I guess you could call it almost a racetrack look that starts at the nose and then goes on to the back. But Kettlar has, you know, it, it's almost got like the, uh, I guess you could call it the Patronus green on it. And then you've got the really cool striping. I mean, the, the Kettlar car is just really striking. If you've seen it in my uh, in, in my videos, uh, particularly when I've seen it down at Sebring a couple times in my uh, paddock tours, it is an absolutely striking and gorgeous car. This made by LookSmart, probably the most detailed cars I've got in my collection. I believe they're actually made by Spark, but they're made for LookSmart, and they are absolutely phenomenal. And the next is... The um, AF Corsa, number 83, that with the Britney-inspired livery that you have on. I've actually talked to the uh, uh, the owner of this car last time I was at a race. I'm, I'm just drawing a blank on his name right now, but we talked about his livery, and you know, he was surprised that I, I recognized that it was uh, uh, Britney-based. But there you have it, another incredibly cool-looking Ferrari 488. I just absolutely love the chrome silver livery with the black and the red, and again, you know, you take a good look at this, you know, bingo. That is just really, really sharp. And this might be the most simplistic livery of all the Ferraris that I have, the WeatherTech. Uh, basically, in just in white, black, and gray, but I think it looks really, really sharp. It is a very cool-looking car. Again, I have reviewed all of these cars previously, one by one, which you can take a look at if you'd like. This is just kind of a little teaser for you, so to speak, if you haven't seen those, because many of these videos are well over a year old, and YouTube is not, you know, not promoting them, so you're going to have to find them, you know, in my collection. Now, here, here we have the Sky 488. I absolutely, gosh, guys, I, I love this. I, I just absolutely love the blend of blue purple, orange, and pink almost that you have with this over the fenders, the stripes, you know, the Sky logo that I'm sure everybody is familiar with. Anybody in motorsports has to know Sky. But this car is really, really clever. I, I'm not sure. They're not racing. I think they might be into Lamborghinis now. I'm not sure. Um, or it might be McLarens. But anyhow, this is when they raced the 488. Uh, really, really cool looking car. Very, very sharp. Okay, folks, and so now we're looking at the Iron Dames, Iron Lynx. I, this, of all the liveries that Iron Lynx has had over the years, is my absolute favorite. I don't care if it's on a Lamborghini, a Porsche, or a Ferrari. I think the Ferrari 488s were the best-looking cars that Iron Lynx ever fielded. Uh, probably one of, some of the most competitive. 
This livery you'll see with the three I'm going to show you is basically the same. It's black with pink uh, highlights on it. Very, very clever. Really, really cool. I absolutely love it. The Iron Dames. Now this is the number 71 Iron Lynx car, their pro entry. Black and yellow, very similar to the Iron Dames car that you saw. Notice all the small details you see on these things, the support struts, the, uh, the, the tags on the tow hooks. You even have the inspection tags on the nose of the car. I mean, there, there's nothing that they didn't replicate in these cars in detail. And the wheels are stunning. You know, the decal work, the paint work is top-notch on these beautiful bases with these aluminum tags. Very, very sharp cars. This is the Iron Lynx Pro Entry, the number 71. And I believe this one was, uh, you know, 24 Hours of Spa. Yep. Now, this is the number 51 Pro Car from Iron Lynx, the winner of the 21, 2021 24 Hours of Spa. And again, the same exacting detail that you saw on the other three, just... With this black, with this white on black, I think it looks really, really good. Whether it's white, whether it's pink or yellow, it is phenomenal. These are great looking cars, guys. And this is a look at a 458. This is a Fujimi a company that no longer exists. I don't know if they were molded into Look Smart or TSM or whoever, but they come on. They they, they look like Look Smarts with their bases and their packaging. Uh, Looks more like TSM, but these are wooden bases on these, so they're very heavy. Again, these are beautifully detailed cars, cars of Ferraris that you just don't see much anymore. Even though I will be honest with you, I think this particular model, they must have made tens of thousands of them, because I think you can still find them on eBay, or at least they were when I was last looking some time ago. I mean, I quite frankly, I don't look at Look Smart that much anymore. Uh, most of the Fujimis, you know, considering this company is, is uh, defunct, are very, very hard to find these days. But the detailing is great inside and out, just like the Look Smarts. Now, this is an F430, the generation before the 458s. You can tell by looking at the nose of the car. Distinctively different. This one is from JMB Racing. Has this unusual, it's just kind of like a bizarre livery. It, it doesn't particularly grab me, I guess you would say, but I do like the car. I mean, I think all the Ferraris are beautiful. I certainly didn't buy this one for the stunning livery that it has, because it, quite frankly, it's not up to... This par with some of the other ones, but another great looking car. One thing I do like about the Fujimis is the windows are clear cut. They're easy to see the interior details and they are quite exceptional. This is another F430 GTC. This one from CRS Racing. This has a really unique livery, I think, and to, to really excellent, I have to pick it up and show it to you. Got the silver roof, the white with the red and the blue as it wraps around the back. And one thing I move this around, because I really haven't showed you guys the back of these cars yet, but one thing that I do like about all the Ferraris, whether it's the F430, the 458, or the 48, is you have the engine window on there. Really, really neat. Like I say, I've had reviewed all these cars uh, previously, so take a look at them. They're really quite good. And last but not least is this F430, that of Crone Racing. They're always green with these blue stripes, Crone Aviation. Uh... And again, like all the others, you got the really cool engine you can see in the back. Anyhow, folks, that wraps it up. These are all going to be a pain, pain in the butt to put back. Uh, but there you see my entire collection of Ferraris. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time.